There comes a point in time where you can read the writing on the wall. And currently the Rams are expected to lose up to five coaches, could even be six or seven this coming circuit. Before we get into it, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. You can follow me at JK Bogan, and you can check out my unfiltered podcast in the description below. Let's dive into it. So uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because if you are living under a rock or you haven't been following me on Twitter, which you should be doing, but either way, uh, I'm kidding, of course. But if you haven't been following along, Denard Wilson, who was my number two coaching candidate, has been hired by the Tennessee Titans to be their defensive coordinator. There's also plenty of other guys. Zachary Orr is going to be the defense coordinator for the Ravens. So there are guys starting to leave. You know, Bobby Babich was um, promoted by the Bills. And then, of course, you got to talk about Giro Evero. My number one candidate is going to stay with Carolina. So there are guys coming off the board here. And now it's put the Rams in an interesting spot. Um, I still have a pretty decent group of guys that are left over here uh, for coaches that I, I went through. Obviously, you guys know I made my list. Um, I had Evero one. I had Denard Wilson two. I had Christian Parker three, but we haven't heard anything about them interviewing him. Uh, he is 32. Broncos defensive back coach went through three different coaching staff. So that would be very interesting. Anthony Weaver, who's 43 years old, currently the Ravens defensive line coach and assistant head coach. So it would be really interesting to see them bring him in. McDonald, you know, he got hired by Seattle. That'll be a problem at another time. But uh, Anthony Weaver, also on that staff with Denard Wilson, Wilson left or is the defensive coordinator. So that means Weaver's probably going to leave. Does he join McDonald in Seattle? Does he join Denard in Tennessee? Or does he become a defensive coordinator safe for the Rams? Um, they did interview him. Jim Leonard, 41, they interviewed a few years ago. They have not reportedly interviewed him yet. The Illinois senior football analyst who is expected to, in all likelihood, end up with Deion Sanders in Colorado. I had Bill Belichick after that. I don't think Bill Belichick is going to be a defense coordinator, but I would love the fit. It, I think it would work. I just don't think they go that route. So right now, where are they? Well, Aubrey Pleasant would be their top in-house um, you know, option there. 37 years old. He's already interviewed. He's the defensive passing game coordinator and DB's coach. Um, this is somebody who has been regarded, you know, at least quietly as, um, you know, a defensive McVay. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening with him. Shane Bowen is another option. The Titans defensive coordinator. Clearly he, he won't be back since they hired Wilson. Uh, so Bowen, who's 37, very young, consistent guy, um, you know, was the DC there uh, from 2021 and on. And then you have Anthony Campanile, the linebacker coach for the Dolphins. You got James Betcher, the Bengals linebacker coach, Aiden Dirt, who the Rams did reportedly interview. Cowboys defensive line coach would bring that Dan Quinn defense likely to the Rams. Derek Ansley, 42, former Chargers defensive coordinator. Chris Hewitt, 49, from the Ravens staff, a Ravens secondary coach and passing game coordinator. Uh, Marquand Manuel, uh, 44, the Jets safeties coach. Then you have Brandon Staley, 41, former Chargers head coach. Joe Witt, who I expect will follow. Dan Quinn, he just got hired by the Washington Commanders. And I'll wrap it up here with Chris Shula, 37 years old, uh, interviewed with the Rams. He's also interviewing with the Dolphins. That's a big reason why I said that there could be up to six or seven coaches gone. So uh, what am I saying? Well, essentially what I'm getting into is that I think the Rams defense has a potential to be a little different. So out of the coaches that they've lost, if you aren't paying attention Potentially, they could lose Chris Shula to the Dolphins. I think that would be fitting if he's going to go anywhere to go where, you know, Don Shula went. Uh, obviously, that would be fitting. But if he becomes the defense coordinator for the Dolphins, you lose your pass rush coordinator and your linebackers coach. Just like the defense line coach and run game coordinator, you already lost. That was Eric Henderson, who went to USC. You lost your defensive coordinator, Raheem Morris. You lost your assistant head coach, who was more of a defensive-minded guy in Jimmy Lake. So with all these guys that you're losing on the defensive side of the ball and a younger, let's be honest here, a younger personnel of players, 
Could the Rams go in a different direction? I'm not saying, will they run a 4-3? I'm not even saying, you know, will they have a completely new defense? But could they go in a different direction as far as maybe adding more to the defense? Does this take away from the chance of bringing in Brandon Staley back? Does it does it take away the chance of promoting from within with Aubrey Pleasant? Aubrey Pleasant was seen in Rams gear at the Senior Bowl. Uh, so I would have to imagine that Aubrey Pleasant is going to stick with this team. He's going to stick on this co- uh, this coaching staff, and he's here to stay at least this year, regardless if he gets the job or not. But the fascinating thing here is that losing all those guys, it's still a younger group. There's still going to be turnover. You're still potentially going to lose quite a few guys. I think you could justify, if Sean McVay wanted to, a new defense. I think they could bring in a new defense. I think they could run, you know, a completely different scheme. I'm not saying they will, but I definitely think this makes it more likely that they would bring in and keep this in mind. The Rams haven't filled in any of these holes. They haven't filled in defense line coach. They haven't filled in any of these. So what am I getting at? Well, what I'm getting at is whoever they hire I think Sean might give them the full opportunity to hire their staff and The guys that I've heard that they've interviewed, Denard Wilson, gone. Evero was a guy that they wanted, but he's not leaving Carolina. Uh, Even if he wants to, he can't. He's under contract. Um, Anthony Weaver, they interviewed. They did not interview Jim Leonard this time around, at least reportedly, maybe behind closed doors. Aubrey Pleasant, Chris Shula, Aiden Durd. That's really it. We haven't heard of a lot. We heard Ron Rivera. I would hope not. Um, You know, so look. The point I'm making here is that I think as this starts to wear on, this is either going to be an in-house promotion of Aubrey Pleasant, or this is going to end up being a brand new coach. I don't think this is, you know, it might be Brandon Staley. Don't get me wrong. I I think I'm starting to kind of see it's Brandon Staley, but if it's not Brandon Staley and it's not Aubrey Pleasant, then it's going to be a completely new coach. Um, I think if they were going to hire anybody To me, the best option is Christian Parker. I think you get a young, exuberant, you know, developing coach, 32 years old. I think he's ready for this, to be honest with you. Kind of similar to what the Ravens are doing, promoting or. So I think when you look at Christian Parker, went through three different coaching staffs, a rising star, worked with Vic Fangio, worked with Evero. I like that option. Uh, We keep it somewhat close to what they do. Obviously, he could have his own flavor for sure. Um, But that's something to consider. And then Anthony Weaver, I think just the Weaver influence is crazy because he's he's worked with Mike McDonald. He's worked with, um, you know, Mike Frabel and he worked with Rex Ryan. So I think Weaver has some things there that you could really like. I think Jim Leonard would be the most innovative that they could bring in. Um, I think you would see a different defense. I think you'd see some new things brought into the whole, you know, Rams hive mind philosophy of the defense. Um, I mean, I really don't think they can go wrong. And, And even like if they hire Brandon Staley, I think it's a mistake, but I don't know if they can go wrong because so this is what I'll say. If they hire Brandon Staley, the, the one positive thing I'll take away is that look, if Brandon Staley gets hired, First off, he's not the head coach anymore, so he doesn't have to juggle a bunch of things at once. And second, keep this in mind, he may have been trying new things since he was a he was a head coach and had all of the reign, essentially, to do whatever he wanted. He may have been trying new things and they weren't working. So if he can get back to being a little bit more simplistic, um, I don't know if he was running the same things with the Rams. I don't think so. Um, but if he wants to get you know a little bit more simplistic, then I think that would help a young defense, but... Regardless, um, I think the Rams are going to change things up a little bit. I, I think they can. They've lost you know, enough coaches. They could lose a ton of coaches on the defensive side of the ball. And if that's the case, then yeah, I definitely think they could change things up. Um, I will say this, losing Jeremy Springer, and I already talked about this, I think in another video, still kind of ticks me off. I am so happy for him, but that's the guy I wanted them to promote last year. And they brought in Chase Blackburn, And we could say all we want. Well, you know, they were younger. They didn't quite have, you know, the firepower on the special teams unit. I don't really agree with that. Um, I I don't. I mean, to be the sixth worst all time, I I don't think he's doing a good enough job. You know, maybe you give him another year, but I think I would have just given Springer the job personally. So Chase Blackburn should be on the hot seat this year. If the special teams is bad again, he's gone. Um, 
as far as the defense, though, look out because I think there's a there's a chance Sean McVay is going to change things up a little bit. And I, I honestly kind of think he should. So those are my thoughts. Uh, you know, leave a comment below. Who do you want? For me, the top five right now includes Parker, Weaver, Leonard, Pleasant, and Bowen. I'm not going to include Belichick because I don't think he is a realistic option, but would love Bill Belichick. I think it would work. I think he would work well with Sean McVay. I just don't see it happening. So those are my thoughts. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and uh, follow me on social media at JK Bogan. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, folks. You can start playing Pick'em or Weekly Fantasy for any sport today, Jake. Users will receive a 100% deposit match up to $100 if they use promo code OTE at sign up. Start playing Pick'em and Weekly Fantasy Football today with Underdog Fantasy. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.